WGN's Jewel Hillary is joining us live from the Gold Coast with more on this tonight. Jewel. Hi, Mike and Ray. So a customer that we talked to who goes to Tavern on Rush all the time says he was wild one day when a group of guys, I believe he said from Ireland, traveled all the way to Chicago to have a bachelor party at the restaurant. And then it's my understanding that literally that same day or within 24 hours, they flew back home. Now, so many people have told us that they're going to miss the good food and the drinks at this restaurant. But what we've learned even more this afternoon is that the priceless memories that have been formed here are what will be missed most. Thank you, man. The service is unparalleled. Uh, the food is unparalleled. Otha Smith, who spent the afternoon with good friends, is talking about the restaurant Tavern on Rush. The group just found out Tavern is closing December 31st. It's sad. Um, there were many places that were in this space prior to Tavern on Rush, and none of them lasted. When it first opened 25 years ago, Tavern on Rush owner Phil Stefani says the establishment opened with a different type of vibe. He says the restaurant is closing because the lease is ending. And it's not that our landlord has tried to bring another group in or try to do something else. Uh, they just decided that uh, they want to keep the lease for themselves, and rightfully so. Since the beginning, the quaintly nestled restaurant located at the corner of Rush Street and Bellevue Place has been a staple for a long list of faithful customers. The people here are wonderful. It's um, you get to see you get to be in the middle of Chicago while you're having a nice meal. Along with good food, drinks and hospitality, Tavern is also known for its frequent celebrity appearances. As little as two, just two weeks ago, we had Bon Jovi here and we, we drank a little Hampton social wine. As Phil and the many people who love Tavern so much process the business shutting down, Phil says his staff deserves utmost praise for providing excellent service all of these years. Restaurants are brick and mortar, but then the employees make the the building what it is, an institution. Until the doors close for good, Phil says he's focusing on showing gratitude. The next three months or four months that it is, it's all going to be about appreciation of the people who supported us for 25 years. We're going to be here to thank them. And of course, we had to ask Phil if Tavern on Rush could possibly relocate to another location, and his response was to stay tuned. And when it comes to his employees, he says that he'll do everything that he can to make sure everyone remains employed. Tavern on Rush is expected to close for good on December 31st. For now, reporting live on the Gold Coast, I'm Jewel Hillary, WGN News.